He was once an orphan in Kenya, but grew up to become one of the world's biggest advocates for homeless children. Dan Bowens tells us about the work of Dr. Charles Mui. People called me crazy because they did not know what are you after. Charles Mully had it all, a businessman making big money in Kenya. They started doing business, taxes, and through that it grew. I had buses, and then I was appointed to become a distributor of oil products as well as uh, uh, gas and also insurance company. He was a millionaire in the African nation where many live on just dollars a day. I made money. I became wealth. I became... Uh, uh, rich and yet something was missing. I sold everything and that's when he found everything. With the profits after liquidating his company, he and his wife and their eight children started the Moli Children's Family. We have a kindergarten for all the little kids. We have primary school. We have also secondary school. We have vocational training. We have a, um, a college. And now, at this time, I'm building a university. We are not waiting to be rescued. We are working to rescue others. This is my family. This is my home. One man with a plan. With a plan from God. He started with nothing. Just like me. He did start just like them, with nothing. I was abandoned and uh, rejected by my own parents. I wanted to commit suicide. I was at that really hard moment of life. His faith led him out of that hole and on this journey. You see yourself in some of those kids, I imagine, when, when, when you look at them. We have also street children born of the very poor families from the slums and from the rural area, those extremely very poor. A new film details the work of the charity. We can't let this happen. We have to do something. When you feel for others, that is the beginning of you becoming selfless. They have successfully saved more than 12,000 children. He was recently invited to speak on a Clinton Global Initiative panel, hoping his message will be an inspiration, especially as the world deals with a growing refugee crisis. To save uh, this present generation uh, from devastation. A favorite Bible verse guides him. The stone that was rejected by the builders became the cornerstone. You may be rejected by society. You may meet all the problems that we can mention. You may be born of a prostitute. You may be, have been thrown completely somewhere in a corner. But that is not the end. Because you may be the one to be the savior. Dan Bowens, Fox 5 News.